what's up capricorn kings queens and everything in between my name is austria of unbothered queen and today i will be channeling the collective capricorn sun moon rise and venus and mercury in regards to a general 10-day forecast for the 20th to the 29th please understand that whenever you see this message that's when it's meant for you it could be past present or future okay if it resonates, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If it doesn't, check out the other places, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Mercury. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. Got skepticism, divinely guided, under pressure, ending, and superficiality. We also got not for you, rushing in, and attraction here. Um... Okay. In the past, you could have been dealing with someone that had you in some sort of third-party situation here. Hmm. This also could have been somebody that wanted to, like, rush the relationship here. Someone that you kind of fell for quickly or fell for you quickly. But I feel like you were very skeptical of this relationship. And this could be your person's energy that's surrounding you, but... I'm really getting for most of you that it is like you that were skeptical of this relationship here. But the relationship is divinely guided. So some of you are definitely dealing with a someone that you have a soul contract with. For a lot of you, it could be your twin flame. Under pressure. I'm under a lot of pressure. Please give me, um, please be understanding. So somebody's wanting you to be understanding here. But I feel like either your heart is cold to this person or vice versa. And I think that's why this ending is coming. And even if you don't want this ending to be forever, it's like for right now, this is the best thing for us to do. Then we got superficiality. It's easier to be superficial and be accepted by society. So somebody cares what other people think. And this is what this is like what is ruling how they move and how they do shit. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit more energy here. Thank you. There for cancer size messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got deception in the reverse and worth waiting for here. And soulmate. Okay, so some of you are definitely going to be getting someone um, in the near future here. I I'm thinking like it's going to be a different person than who you ended with or who um, you could be dealing with here. Somebody that you could have been in some sort of separation for some of you. Okay. We got it is safe for you to love. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right, so this is just where you at right now. But for some reason, I'm feeling like y'all don't really necessarily feel that way. Let's get a bit more here. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing concise energy. Thank you, Capricorn, Sun, and Venus, and Mercury. Why is this here, Spirit? Why is this here? All right, we got the Ace of Fire and the Reverse Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So some of you could be letting go of a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here, or you could be letting go of some sort of passion or relationship here. Okay. But I feel like some of you have a certain type of fear of love or going back into it like jumping back in the dating scene or something like this. This is something that I feel like some of you may be afraid to do. Yeah, see, family, home, and commitment in the reverse. And it could be because some sort of commitment that you thought was like gonna be long lasting didn't work out here. So it's like you don't wanna be open or give yourself to another person because of this. Third eye clarity. Okay. All 
I'm getting that you need to definitely listen to your intuition about whatever is coming next, right? Whatever's coming towards you, whatever sort of relationship is coming towards you, just listen to your intuition here, right? Because some of you are getting some sort of love offer here. And for some of you, like I said before, it's going to be a soul contract union. So that you have some sort of soul tie too. Okay. Could be a past love for some of you. Thank you, Spirit, for clearing precise messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. the high priestess here pisces energy some of you could be dealing with pisces but this is basically letting you know that you need to listen to your intuition here you know um it's like whatever you have all the knowledge that you need okay don't don't let your past affect the future is is pretty much what i'm getting here all right yeah, see, Ten of Cups. It's like a great love is coming towards you and don't let some shit from the past affect this love that's coming in. It's something that you always want or something about how you view love. Yeah, Queen of Cups on the bottom here could be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini. All right, we got You Deserve Love, You Are Lovable. And this is like, it's like, okay, honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so i feel like you could be dealing with someone that is wanting to spend some more time with you here but some of you are kind of not feeling like either you deserve love or like i said before you're not necessarily interested right okay one more here thank you spirit for clearing things all right thank you All right, we got, yeah, see, unity. Like, <laughs> this is legit saying, like, you, you're afraid. You're afraid to be open, which is coming back to that skepticism. Alchemy, ancestors, guides, but you're being guided. The, look, divinely guided, come on. All right. Pluto transformation. This is Scorpio energy. Um, this is definitely in the sense that some of you could be dealing with some sort of past life situation, past love, or just someone that um, you've had some sort of previous dealings with for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. All right, one more. Remember awakening, yeah. All right. More for honeymoon spirit. We got distance, retreat, um, or time out, and this is in the reverse. So this is basically saying honeymoon again. But this is definitely like this person is wanting to come closer to you. This person is wanting to get to know you, and this is this is difficult. Like yeah, past lack suffering, and it could be because, like I said before, because of your past. For some of you, this person could be someone from your past, and this is why they can, you're you have this like guard up against them. Could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here, but it's like this person is coming in to want to tell you the truth about something, wanting to be honest here, um, wanting to definitely. It's like this person is choosing you, right? I feel like this person is coming in with clarity, wanting to give you clarity about how they feel. They could also be wanting to give you clarity um, in regards to some past actions if this is somebody that you dealt with in the past. Healing and inner child. Yeah. Some of you, this person could be dealing with their own struggles, like healing their inner child, focusing on themselves. For others, this is a sense where this person awakens something in you in regards to your own inner child here. Right? 
and see it's like you're not we got deception and temptation then we got contracts careers and commitment here so this is the energy of like this person possibly being deceptive in the past somebody that you had some sort of um high level connection with here all right let's see here any more spirit any more here thank you thank you cat cat thank you yeah eight of swords I feel like that's your that's your energy, right? You're not really sure about how you want to move forward here, um, and it's because I feel like it's this it's this under pressure energy. Like it's like you're cold to some shit because of your past energy. You're feeling stuck in some sort of um, emotion, right? Give me more about the eight of swords, seven of swords. Okay. And it's like you're overanalyzing a lot of things here. For some of you, it's like you're getting messages or downloads about... It's like you're getting messages about, like, clearing something up. But this is still putting you in a, in a space where you don't know what which way you want to go on it. The King of Wands in the reverse could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius here. Again, this could have been someone that you were trying to um, release here. I'm also getting like low self-esteem. Give me more here about the king. King of Cups. All right, Aquarius energy as well as Pisces. So this is definitely our energy of somebody from the past possibly keeping you in a standstill for somebody else that's wanting to love you, wanting to move towards you, but you're finding it hard to see this, right? Or someone kind of acted a certain way in private and then acted a certain way like outwardly it's like some sort of like toxicness here some of you could have just been um going between like two people give me give me more here about the king of okay thank you page of swords So I feel like you kind of go back and forth with yourself if you want to rebuild this situation with this person. It's something about this person that kind of draws you into them, right? Makes you um, unsure if, you know, if, if this is over or not. Some of you feel like, yeah, maybe I want to have a certain a new beginning with this person maybe this person has changed and this is not necessarily this person but this is just the energy that i'm feeling like you're in right now like maybe i do want to give this you know thing another shot yeah to a to a pentacles this is it's like you're trying to figure out exactly how you want to move here and it's crazy because I'm I'm getting this sense that a lot of you, you know, it's like you need to make a decision between two people. And it's either a person that you feel like is very good for you or someone that you feel like has let you down in the past, right? Yeah, Four of Cups. And I feel like you're going to be withdrawing your energy from a certain situation, you know, taking some sort of personal time out. But I feel like right now you're kind of distracted, right? You don't know which way you want to go. Four of Cups. Nine of, nine of Pentacles in the reverse. And this could be you self-sabotaging this relationship, right? With this person. By putting this person on hold for somebody in the past that they already pro proved to you that they don't know what to do with a person like you or with the love that you have to give. Mm. Yeah, Two of Swords in the in, in the 
back here and it's the seven of pentacles here in the reverse as well and this is the energy of being in like and we got the tower here so i'm getting like the energy of you being in denial with the fact that somebody is never going to um own up or amount to what you want them to that's the energy i'm getting but i'm getting like you keep giving this person a chance though okay all right all right go ahead and give me more here All right, we got the seven of wands here in the reverse. Okay, so I feel like this person is, you know, struggling here. They're feeling, a, they may even be feeling a bit defensive here because they feel like um, there's some sort of rivalry going on, which makes sense because they feel like it's multiple people here or you're kind of choosing between them and someone else. Yeah, eight of cups here. It's that energy. This person is trying to wait and see like what, what choice you make, what decision you make, who you choose that you want to go towards, right? I'm also getting for some of you, you could have possibly chose someone over this person in the past and this person never really recovered from this. Give me more here. Give me more. Thank you. Yeah, eight of wands here in the reverse. So some of you could have just said, like, you know, I'm no longer interested here. You could have blown this person off, ghosted this person or whatever. Maybe more about the eight. The strength card. This really hurt this person. I feel like this really hurt this person. And even, even though you you no longer like was expressing interest in this relationship with this person. This person was still coming towards you full force. And even if they weren't, they were still waiting, right? They were still kind of waiting for you and they may still be fucking waiting for you. But this is definitely that energy where this person wants, you know, this to still turn out well. You could be dealing with the Leo here. Give me more here, Spirit. More about the strength card. Yeah, the Six of Swords. It's like this person, they still want some sort of healing, some sort of progression with you. Yeah, they still want something stable with you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. But they don't really feel like they can get it here. And in their future, this is um, engaging in the reverse. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment here. And that's kind of an ongoing theme at this point, you know, because all of these commitment cards and reverse and shit. And I'm getting like, some of you are going to be deciding to move away from some sort of relationship or a situation is going to like make something be over, right? Cause we do got ending here. Give me more here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got growth and summer. We got fulfillment and wish and the reverse. All right, and then we got toxicity, bound and patterns in the reverse. And we got assistance and spirit guides. All right, okay. Okay, look, and then we got offer here in the back, but it's only after some sort of union is over, right? So this is making sense. I feel like a lot of you are in an energy where you're releasing like toxic patterns that you've dealt with here in the past. You're growing from different life lessons that you've received. I feel like some of you could have had unrealistic expectations either for this person or for what you felt like a um, relationship was supposed to look like, right? You kind of learn from the disappointment from this relationship and decided to move forward. Give me more here, Spirit. Give me more here. Thank you. All right, we got the judgment card here in the reverse, right? This is definitely that energy of some sort of denial, some sort of bad choices here. Um, this is Scorpio's energy here again. And give me more. Let's see. 
<laughs> so you're like, hold up now. All right, thank you. Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's like, I feel like this is definitely this period where you finally release negative energy. You finally release this these bad choices that you've made here in the past, right? Because with the Ten of Swords, that's all about betrayal, endings, you know, separation, you know, all of that. Disappointment. And I feel like you guys are done with this. I feel like this is like, this is it. This is, you're over this shit. Like, I'm over this. Like, I'm no longer wanting to deal with this. I'm no longer wanting to um, work on this here. I feel like a lot of you are in an energy where it's time to disconnect from here. It's like you're, you finally have impatience with someone, right? That's the energy I'm getting here. Okay, let's get, all right see what signs you guys are dealing with during this time here thank you so much spirit for playing precise messages please be sure to like share comment and subscribe you guys it really helps me out thank you all right we got pisces here we got mercury virgo Ge virgo gemini virgo again Got yeah, air, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Then we got Capricorn at the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.